Hello guys, welcome to Those Jerkies Times 3. My name is Kenisa and today we're going to be doing a fun little DIY ombre rope leash for your dogs. I thought this was a really cute idea and they turned out pretty good. So I definitely want to share with you guys the process of how we got it done. Alright, so here's just a quick overview of everything that I purchased and the prices. Alright guys, so the first thing we have is cotton craft rope. It is one half inch and it is eight feet and it's eight feet for both rolls. So that's 16 feet total that I do have to use today. And the next thing that we do have is the Ritt uh, fabric dye. The colors we got are obviously petal pink, teal, and purple. We also have three different fabrics that we will be using to help decorate the new leash. Next thing that we have are some um, rope clamps. You can get those from Lowe's for about $2 each. All right, the next thing we have are bolt snaps. Each dog obviously gets one bolt snap. And next we are going to need a hot glue gun. Make sure that if you are a bit younger that you are doing this with a parent just to be safe because that glue does get extremely hot. And you will also need some vinegar. And the final thing we have is a good old bucket to mix the dye in. So these are our products that we will be using to make our DIY ombre rope leashes. Another thing that is extremely important to get is a good pair of gloves. Um, I had done this a time before with Bailey's. It's that purple one you see in the back corner. And I used a cheap pair of gloves that did have a hole in them and they were really short. And it was a tragic result. So I'm going to show you guys what happens when you try to cut corners and be cheap. But these green gloves that you see on the screen are the gloves that I ended up going to purchase. Alright guys, now that that is over, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So the first thing I'm doing is cutting the packaging of the rope and I'm just going to soak that in some lukewarm water. This will help get any type of chemical or anything off of the rope and kind of just strip it down so that the color will take better to the rope. So you want to make sure you just kind of push it into the water, move it around. You can squeeze the rope a little bit to really get that water into it. And so that is the dye that we're going to be using. So I am just putting the dye into the bucket. And I did just kind of stir it in. And I did use extremely hot water with the dye. Alright, so we're going to set the timer for 20 minutes. Because we're going for that ombre look, you want to section off your rope into three. The part you want the darkest, the part you want the medium shade, and the part you want the light lightest. So the darkest shade is going to stay in there for the longest. When you put it into the water, you want to make sure that you have it completely submerged. And you want to squeeze it to really get the color into the rope. So once that 20 minutes was up... I did go ahead and add another section of the rope into the bucket and we left that in for five minutes and repeated the same process. Squeeze the rope, make sure you're getting a good squeeze in there and just make sure that that rope is getting as saturated as possible. So before the five minutes was up, I noticed that my medium shade of ombre was getting too dark and it was starting to blend in too much with the darkest shade of the ombre color. So I went ahead and put the rest of the rope in for the last 45 seconds. And I did the same thing again. I just closed it and made sure to get the color into the rope. So once I was in there for the 45 seconds, I added the vinegar to the lukewarm water that I had earlier. And I closed out the rope and put it into the vinegar water. And I just let that sit for a couple of minutes. And that does help with the bleeding. So now that the ropes are all done, I left them out on the table. And I let them sit for 24 hours to dry. Alright, so this is the next day and I'm putting the boat snap on and I am using hot glue to hot glue the ropes together along with the rope clamps. And once you hot glue, you really want to make sure you hold it together until that glue dries just to ensure the best outcome. 
Alright, so that is the rope clamps. So you want to just make sure that's put in there evenly, as evenly as possible, as flat as possible, and you hammer it together. So now we're doing the handle on the pink leash, and we're doing the same thing, hot gluing it, putting on the rope clamps, and we will be hammering it down. And that is pretty much it. That's how it looks, just getting it done. If you wanted to stop at that step, you could. But I did want to go and try to make it look a little bit more pretty and hide those boat clips. So what I did was I brought some fabric. And I am left-handed, so I'm a terrible cutter. So Jaren did have to cut the fabric for me. And once I got the fabric cut out, what I did was I hot glued three sides together. And the side that I didn't hot glue was the side that was being glued on first, so you wouldn't see it. So there I am just hot gluing it on to the top part of the leash. And I'm using that cardboard because the glue is so hot, it was burning my fingers. So that just works better. If you have something like that to help you press the glue into the fabric, please use it because that hot glue is no joke. It is extremely, extremely hot. And now we're doing the same thing for the handle on the pink leash. We're hot gluing down three sides and then we're just going to hot glue it onto the rope. You want to hot glue the edges of the fabric down just to give it a neater appearance. It, will, it won't have that jagged edge look. It will be more uniform and it does make it look overall nicer and more professional. So that is why I chose to make sure to just fold those pieces under just to give it an even uniform look. All right, and that is it. That is what the teal leash came out looking like, and that is the pink one. So this is the dogs just trying out their new leashes. I did make them cute little scarves to match. I just thought it was adorable. That is it, guys. That's how you make a DIY ombre leash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.